My true answer is we should have solved this problem 20 years ago. No matter how ambitious our climate policy, permafrost is already thawing. People are already being impacted. And the more the Arctic and the global climate will be impacted. And so the longer we wait, the worse it's going to get. I'm Sue Natale, and I'm a scientist at Woodwell Climate Research Center. Permafrost is permanently frozen ground in the Arctic, and when it thaws, the ground can collapse. And so that's a problem for people who live on permafrost because it can threaten their homes and their lifeways. Permafrost also stores a vast amount of carbon, and when that carbon thaws, it can be released into the atmosphere as greenhouse gases, leading to more warming and more thaw. So it's also a problem, not just for people who live in the Arctic, but also for everyone on the planet. We need to really ramp up our monitoring and our modeling so that we can have a better understanding of how much permafrost is thawing now, how much will thaw in the future, and what this will mean for our global climate. And so we're working with our partners who are policy experts to bring the new knowledge that we're generating from this project to the table with decision makers to make sure that permafrost carbon is accounted when we're setting our global emissions targets. One thing that we are really excited about is this opportunity to bring together decision makers at the highest level and indigenous knowledge holders and community members that are having to deal with this in order to bring together a plan to figure out a solution to this problem. In the Arctic, people are so much more closely connected to their environment, both in their ways of living um, and just in terms of the changes that are happening that are so rapid. Climate change isn't a thing of the future for people who are living this reality.